today I'm going to tell you my top five ways to keep your arthritic horse comfortable, so stick around. What's up guys? It's Ginny with Ginny's Horse Product Review. I am on my back porch today. It's a little, little windy out here, but um, I got my mic on, so we should be good. If you've seen any of my other videos, um, you may know that I have a senior horse. I have a 24-year-old Morgan Gelding uh, named Bamboozle, and he's been in our family since he was a yearling, and he's one of my main riding horses now. And even though he's got a little stiffness and arthritis sometimes, I'm doing my best to keep him comfortable, and I wanted to share my five tips with you um, for how to keep your arthritic horse comfortable. So the first and most important aspect of keeping your arthritic horse comfortable is stable management, okay? Um, and when I say stable management, I mean how do you keep your horse? And when it comes to arthritis, it's really critical uh, for your horse to be moving around 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If your horse is on any kind of stall time, get them turned out. You want 24 seven turnout for a horse that has arthritis. Now, of course, you wanna make sure that you're managing their diet appropriately, um, and also herd dynamics. You don't want them getting picked on by younger horses, but you know, figure something out to get your horse moving around, getting those joints moving, and that's gonna make them a lot more comfortable. Next, weight, diet, and hooves. Okay, if you have an easy keeper like me, you need to make sure to keep them slim and trim. Um, any extra weight they're gonna have to carry around, whether it's 25, 50, 75 pounds or more, is gonna be more wear and tear on their joints and it's gonna be more painful for them to move around. If you've got a horse that you're struggling to keep weight on, this is not your problem. Um, but along the lines of diet, care, husbandry, is hoof care. Get your senior horse or your arthritic horse on a regular hoof trim schedule. Don't wait forever. Um, treat them like a high performance horse. Like you'd have your shoes reset on your show horse, you know, every six weeks. Get your, get your arthritic horse trimmed every six to eight weeks. Don't let them wait because if you wait too long, there's going to be a drastic change in their, in their, uh, possibly in their hoof angles, but it's, it's just going to be a little more traumatic than it needs to be. So the more often their hooves are trimmed, the more comfortable they're gonna be. You want them to be at a, like a pretty decent baseline. Having that check-in with your farrier is also a really great way to touch base and keep your horse comfortable. Number three for your arthritic horse's comfort is fitness. Just because they're old doesn't mean they have to be out of shape. And um, don't take that as my telling you to go lope around you know, the arena 100 laps. The most important thing you can do for your arthritic horse is take them for walks, walking trail rides, pony them, hike them, ride them out for a walk because walking is the best exercise for them. And um, you know, even Denny Emerson talks about the the importance of walking and the benefits of walking for his like high performance, high level athlete horses. So if walking's good enough for them, it's good enough for your arthritic horse. And um, on the flip side of that. This is for a horse that's comfortable and sound enough to do walking and things like that. So if they're not, talk to your vet about, um, you know, maybe getting on Prevacox or something, you know, the occasional butte, maybe if you overdo it. But, you know, bring your vet in, they're part of your horse's care team, and um, get a plan to, to make sure that your horse can comfortably get in condition and fitness and, um, you know, get a little healthier. Movement is so wonderful. Okay, next is gear. This is like tack, um, any kind of hoof protection. Uh, obviously you want well-fitting tack, saddles, things like that for your horses. Um, lighter weight, the better. If you're using a 50 pound, you know, Western saddle, maybe think about downgrading to a lighter saddle, you know, get in a better or some kind of synthetic saddle that's lightweight, it's gonna be easier on your arthritic horse. Also, uh, one of my favorite, uh, I guess, couple of pieces of gear that I think really supports my arthritic horse are his full set of Cavallo boots. Um, and I love to use hoof protection for him whenever we go on rocky trail rides or over really hard ground or really long strenuous rides because I feel like it just gives him a little bit of extra support and protection. The final and I think least important component to keeping your arthritic horse comfortable 
are um, supplements and products. And I say that these are the, mo the least important because I think you need to do your stable management, your fitness, your hooves, and all that stuff first before you start looking into supplements and products. Once you get all that stuff squared away, absolutely check out supplements and products. My horse Bamboozle is a super picky eater, so he gets the Majesty Flex wafers, which is um, like an arthritis supplement in a cookie. And I'll leave a link to those below if you wanna check them out for yourself. Also, I have, um, I like to poultice his legs after really tough rides, um, especially when we're camping and trail riding. It gives me a chance to feel his legs, feel for any heat or swelling or anything that's going on. And, um, I really like Soar No More Poultice because you don't have to wrap. You can just slather it on um, and when it's dry you can curry it off or hose it off or just leave it. Like it's totally cool and you can check that out in a link in the description below too. Those are my top five tips for keeping your arthritic horse comfortable. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, go check out my website at Ginny's Horse Product Review, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you're doing with your senior horse. I wanna hear what products you're using so I can try them out. Uh, maybe let me know what you don't like. This is why I made this channel. So hit me up, find me on Instagram, check out the website, and until next time, happy trails.